What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. The channel is Data Life where we talk about all things data. In this video, I wanted to talk to you specifically about why I chose data analytics for my master's program. So just to start things off, I wanted to go back and talk about why I even decided to go back and get a master's degree. I'm doing pretty well with just my bachelor's. Master's degrees seem to be losing their power. Why exactly did I decide to go back and get my master's degree? Remember to like and subscribe because I'm giving you a lot of good info and that's not gonna stop. Well, first, I always look through job postings, even when I'm happy with my job. It's just good to know what's out there, what other companies are offering, what they're paying. So as I'm looking for jobs that I wanna work out in maybe five years, maybe 10 years, my jobs that will help me level up. And I know I'm looking at these jobs, a lot of them require higher education, such as master's degrees or PhDs. And I know in my lifetime, I'm probably not gonna get a PhD. It's just not in my future. But master's degree has always been something that I've always wanted. It's always something that I saw me having. So after working for about two to three years now, which is the bachelor's, um, I think it's time to go back and get the master's degree. My next job, I really wanted to be at a fan company like the Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, and a lot of them have requirements for master's degrees. Also, maybe the biggest reason that I'm getting my master's degree my job is paying for it, so I'm not gonna have to pay a penny out of my own pocket to get it. So if you can do this, I mean, it goes without saying this is the best way to do it. Not a penny is coming out of my pocket to actually pay for my master's degree program. One of the benefits that they do at my company is they have education assistance, so they'll pay you up to $10,000 for educational programs that they approve. And that $10,000 is on a yearly basis. Also, since the pandemic's been going on, grad school applications have been going way, way down. Not a lot of people are applying for grad school, undergrad, or school in general. So a lot of these schools are waiving their application fees, waiving the GRE requirements, and making it a lot easier to actually get into the program. So the program I'm in now and a lot of the ones I actually was looking at, they had the GRE waive, which is huge for me because I did not want to take that. And little things like application fees and things like that, it just, just makes it easier to get into the program and ultimately excel in it. So now, why did I choose data analytics specifically? It wasn't an easy choice. So I was actually looking at getting my MBA and I was also looking at getting my master's in data science, a master's in business analytics, and then master's in data analytics. And all four of these things are very good things to have, but Ultimately, I chose data analytics. So starting off with MBAs, this is something that I always wanted to have. I always wanted to see my name and see dot MBA next to it. Makes you feel like you're something, makes you feel like you're important. And I really did want to have that business knowledge. I mean, I come from a math background, a more technical background. I never even took one business class in college, maybe one or two econ classes, but finance and all that things is stuff that really interested me. And I really wanted to gain more knowledge on that just for my own finances, for my own projects, my own side hustles, other ways to make income and just helping the company I work for make money, increasing revenue. Increasing revenue is really what I really wanted to know how to do. So that's why I started thinking about an MBA. Now, unfortunately, I quickly realized this would not actually be the best pathway for me because if you're getting an MBA, you really have to go to a highly accredited school for MBAs. There's different levels of accreditation for MBA and for it to be not to, you know, talk bad about like the, the schools that aren't as accredited because they give good programs, but to, for it to really be worth what you're paying for it, it has to be from a highly accredited school. And for grad school programs, a lot of grad school programs are 30 credits. MBA programs usually are like 36 credits, 45 credits. So it's like grad school and a half of them. So it's really long and it's really expensive. And on a second note, remember I told you that my school is actually, I mean, uh, my work is actually paying for me to go there. Well, if it's an MBA, I'm not sure it would actually be approved by my job to pay for it, meaning I would have to pay for it all out of pocket. And that's not something I really wanted to do. Like I said, you look at some prices of some MBAs, they're really, 
really expensive. In order for my job to pay for my MBA, it would have to relate directly to what I'm working on. And I'm doing a lot of um, machine learning, a lot of coding, a lot of automation stuff, which doesn't directly relate to an MBA. You know, in, in some cases, there's a little bit of overlap, but for the most part, it is a little bit of a stretch and I don't think they would have approved it. And I ain't paying for that out of my pocket. So deuces the idea of getting an MBA. Now that brings me back to the other things I was looking at, which was data science, business analytics, or business intelligence, and data analytics. And you probably think that it should be a no brainer to go just to data science, right? I'm a data scientist. That's what I want to keep doing. It makes sense to get my grad degree in data science. Well, what actually made me choose the program and separate one program from another wasn't actually the name on the degree. It was the curriculum and the classes that I was taking. That's ultimately what made me choose one program over the other. And it just so happens that the curriculum I liked the best and was the most affordable and was the best for me was a data analytics program in UMGC. These data analytics and business analytics programs actually had curriculums that I liked a little bit better than data science because data science was almost 100% technical. If it wasn't 100% technical, it was 90% technical. And these business and data analytics programs gave you a little bit more business knowledge, a little bit, a few more classes on business intelligence and commuting business insights, and just a little bit more of that business knowledge that I wanted to learn. You know, I, I really did want to get my MBA, so having that business side of things in the program was really what shifted me over to the data analytics. And I already have the title of data scientist. I'm not trying to break into data science. I'm trying to keep going forward. So it's cool if my master's degree is in analytics. Now I'm probably going to make a completely separate video on my experience specifically with the UMGC data analytics program. What I like about it, what I don't like about it. But right now I'm just going to tell you why I chose that program over anything else. Starting off, the curriculum is actually entirely online and it can be done part-time. I wouldn't say it makes the work easier, but it maybe it makes your overall life easier because it cuts out that commute time going in between classes and all that, cuts that time out. So I'm able to work from home, my job is already remote, and then I can just keep working on grad school stuff during the day or after work also. And it makes my day a lot more efficient. I can pretty much set aside chunks of time to work on grad school and not have to worry about the commute or anything. It's, it makes the load a lot more manageable for me. And of course, back to the most important thing, the thing that made me select the program in the first place, the curriculum. They give you six credits in data management or data engineering, six credits in business analytics, six in machine learning, six in predictive analytics, six in big data analytics, and six credits for your final project or your thesis. So when I'm looking at this, I'm getting the business analytics, the business knowledge stuff that I really wanted to know. I'm also getting a little bit of data engineering, data management with I'm really not good at. I actually learned a lot from those classes and that's stuff that is always going to stick with me and really helped a lot. But I get that knowledge, I get the business knowledge, and then I get 18 credits relating to machine learning and predictive analytics. And to me, that sounded like a great grad school experience. I'm almost halfway through the program right now. I'm in the machine learning class. And, you know, like I said, I got some things that I love about it. I would say the things I love about it is I'm actually learning. I'm learning things that I'm going to be using on the job. Of course, there's things that I don't like. I'll get into that later. But from the machine learning class, yes, I, I, I work in data science and I'm still learning a lot just from the courses. And they give you a lot of really valuable resources that I save on my computer and I'm really glad that I have them. I looked through a lot of curriculums and there were a lot that I didn't like at all and that I immediately wrote off. I would say about 75% of curriculums I didn't like at all and I just removed the program even if everything else looked good. Now for the cost, this is a very affordable program. I think it costs less than nine grand for a year. So it fell within the threshold that my company would pay for grad school. So, so I'm not paying a penny out of pocket for this program. And of course, that's a huge factor for me. I'm not having to pay anything. Of course, since I'm a data scientist and the degree is in data analytics, it applies directly to my job and my company has no problem paying for it. 
And the last thing that I looked at when considering schools, which is a little more of a gray area, is the school's reputation. Now, I'm not gonna lie, UMGC, I was completely sketched out at first. It's a school that you see when you see like a Metro bus riding by and you see like UMGC on the side if you're from the DMV area. So a little sketch out of school, it's an online school with a lot of people from the military. So you're like, what is this like? Some University of Phoenix nonsense. But it actually has a very good reputation. It's a Maryland State School, same as UMD, same as UMBC. And Maryland State Schools have a great reputation, especially for their education, which is what you want your school to have a great reputation for. And as far as the programs, the data analytics one is new, but they do have a cybersecurity program that's been around for a decent amount of time. That's actually won numerous awards for their online education. And their data analytics program is very young also, but they're starting to get noticed too for that program and win many awards. One site even ranked at number eight in its rankings on online master's degrees in data science. And I believe it was 2018, but I saw that a group of UMGC students competed in an IBM Watson global analytics competition. They were the only online school to compete and they came in second and third place, which just shows you that I mean, they got some good people in these programs. I started looking through professors too. Professors are very good, very reputable, very knowledgeable. And with those awards and that competition that they did well, and it made me feel a lot better about enrolling in the school. And of course, the thing with school it is, it is what you make of it. They just have to give you the opportunity to make something of it. And UMGC definitely gives you the opportunity to make something of it. So stay tuned for the video on UMGC Data Analytics specifically. That about does it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow me, help me out, support me. Let me know what other content you want to see on the channel. And that's about it. Peace, deuces, see you next time.